Kayla Travis, and I recently finished my PhD in the Anginet Lab at Cornell University. One of our research interests is the physiology of electro-respiring bacteria, which breathe using solid metal oxides or conductive electrodes as their terminal electron acceptor. Our recent paper in biotechnology and bioengineering focuses on the physiology of Chauvinella onidensis in anode chambers of bioelectrochemical systems. Chauvinella onidensis differs from other model organisms for bioelectrochemical systems in that it can use solid electron acceptors or oxygen for respiration. We were interested in investigating what happens when Chauvinella is exposed to both oxygen and an electrode at the same time. Contrary to conventional wisdom, Chauvinella is actually capable of producing more electric current in bioelectrochemical systems when it's exposed to oxygen than when it isn't. This effect is greater in continuous flow systems than in batch fed systems. This is because Chauvinella typically produces electric current through transferring its electrons through soluble electron shuttle molecules and these are washed out or essentially diluted in continuous flow systems. We found that when we add oxygen to a continuous flow system, this stimulates the Chauvinella cells to grow and produce electron shuttle molecules at a faster rate, which overcomes the dilution and allows them pro to produce more electric current. These results deepen our understanding of Chauvinella in bioelectrochemical systems and show us that oxygen isn't always bad for current production in these systems. We think this is especially important for the development of biosensing type applications where the overall current production signal is much more important than the electron capture efficiency. And we hope that these results will help future bioelectrochemical applications. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll check out our full paper on the biotechnology and bioengineering website. Thanks.